no matter how many little wads of toilet paper you go through, you, you, you're, you're, not, you're not done. Hi. Hello. You're watching Two Dumb Guys. I'm Brian. This is Ed. You ever go to the bathroom? I, I have done it, uh, not as often as I would like sometimes. But, Every, yeah. but everybody does. You you go to the public bathroom? I try to avoid it whenever possible, but sometimes you, you just got to do what you got to do. You, like, it, it, it's a way of life. You, sometimes you got to go to the public bathroom. And the public bathroom has been getting on my nerves lately. So I've developed a set of rules for businesses and for individuals in the bathroom. All right. Everybody needs to follow these rules. Take them to heart. Just hold them deep inside of you and remember. Now, I'm going to start with one that not a lot of people think about. No one actually would think about this, but I'm talking about proper light placement. Okay. I'm talking about I went to a place, and I go to the bathroom in this restaurant, and the lights they had set up in the corners of the bathroom, and I'm standing at the urinal, and I'm doing my thing, and a dude walks up beside me, and he whips out, and I'm looking at the floor because I don't want to look at him. And what do I see on the floor? Dong shadow. Straight up. Light placement. We don't need dong shadow in here. Okay. When you're designing a bathroom. Yeah. You know, I want you to have somebody in there with like a sextant or a protractor or something. You need to be a compass out calculating <laughs> angles. We need yeah. to know how the light rays are going to fall because no one wants to see a dick on the floor. Yeah. No sconces in the urinal area. That just should be, should be automatic. No sconces. And just put, you know, ceiling light so it shines straight down. If you do see anyone's put dong shadow. Light. Yeah. <laughs> or a floor light. Yeah. That would actually even be Well, bad. no, because sometimes I do this whenever I'm peeing, and then I would see dong shadow on the ceiling, so. Well, yeah. But that would be funny. But, but generally, you look down, you look at your own action. Yeah. And, and you're not going to be seeing someone else's if you just put lights directly above. Or just have some sort of, like... One of those kind of smooth, kind of like, I don't even know, damper kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Light covers, so you just get a general yeah. light. Soft light. Much, uh, Soft light. Yeah, without much uh, shadow making. Yeah, dong shadow would be like it's kind bad. of awkward. Mm. Which brings me to rule number two, troughs. Oh, God. No. Never. never just ever, no. Never, ever. I don't go to baseball stadiums. Yeah, well, I mean. Because they have the troughs. Well, I mean that and because of. Game takes like 12 hours to play, and yeah. you're bored, and you're like half asleep yeah. in the middle of the third inning, and like wishing the day would end. And the hot dog guy keeps pestering you, and you're like, I already got high blood pressure, I don't need that sodium in my life. Back off, devil! And they're passing beers down the aisle, yeah. and one always spills on yeah. you, the on you, breaker. and then you got to go to the bathroom, yeah. And then you got to go to the bathroom, and you got to deal with the loop of dudes around the trough, you know, at the inning breaks. Number three, urinals without partitions. A.K.A. Okay. C. Troughs. Yeah. No. That's almost as bad as troughs. Don't do that. I mean, because, you know, if there's space properly, you don't have to worry about rubbing elbows while you're trying to you know, yeah. handle your own business. But with the trough, you are going to, like, you're going to be touching dudes while you're pissing. Yeah, and nobody and, wants that. And, and it's like, you know, it's not like even, it's just an awkward, it's not a sexual thing. It's not like sexually awkward, but it's yeah. just very uncomfortable. It's just, I don't want to be rubbing up against, like, a sweaty dude. Who's talking to me about like how many Budweisers he's drank? Yeah, you know, and plus, you, plus know. You, you have there's there's splashback, and when you're at a trough, it's other yeah. people splash back. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't I, even think about that. I can deal with my own splashback. That just happens. It happens every now and then yeah. if you use a urinal or something. But other people like communal splashback is not okay. I'm no, not okay with no. that, and I don't care. You can tell me you're in sterile all day long. I don't care. Yeah. I don't want another dude's. Pee on me. Yeah. Liquid waste. Yeah, that would have been funnier. I don't want another dude's liquid waste on me. You're on. you on. Number four, cleanliness. Clean your bathrooms, people. Yeah. I mean, you know, these are, these are the business rules. So you businesses take account. I don't want to go in your wall and see sh Literally yeah. smeared on the wall like you're making some kind of art project. Who's doing who? Why, one time I was coming back from Virginia and I stopped at a gas station, yeah. went in the bathroom, and there was just literally chunks of shit and smears of shit on the wall. I was like, who's doing this? Why did you do this? Why? <laughs> I, I, I actually said out of my mouth, 
I can't use this bathroom. I'm going to have to go across the street to the Waffle House <laughs> to use their bathroom. And then, and actually, the Waffle House bathroom was, it, it had, in my experience, had been particularly clean. But yeah, it's one of those things. You're down with cleanliness. Yeah. You, but you wouldn't Thumbs automatically waffle think house. Waffle House is going to have the cleanest bathrooms. But come on. Uh, they're, but they're on point, man. They're actually pretty good. Cleanliness leads me into my number five, which is your bathroom's got to be well stocked. And what I'm talking about is I better not go in there and see no soap. I better not go in there and see no damn air dryer because those are way dirtier than single-use paper towels. You better have a ton of paper towels. I don't want poo particles from somebody yeah. else taking a dump, yeah. aerating onto my hands that I just washed. And then I got to grab the door? Yeah. Nah, fam. It ain't happening. If it's one of those situations where you have kind of like the walls are set up so that you actually have privacy without ever having a door on the bathroom, yeah. that that's optimal. But obviously doesn't work in all situations. But yeah, paper. If there's a door, absolutely paper towels. Yeah, you gotta have paper towels because I got I got I'm in there trying to get a damn door open. Yeah, you're doing this number. Yeah. Oh, or if you got that foot thing where I can open it with my shoe, that's dope. I'm I'm with you on that because I, I mean, look, this is a life. I have a life rule, and my life rule is to never be more than seven minutes away from a safe toilet. <laughs> you know what makes a safe toilet? This checklist, okay. You know, I'm going in here, I'm checking for troughs, I'm checking for partitions, I'm looking for dawn shadow, I'm looking for, like, paper towels and soap and, you know, that, that's just my thing. If you don't meet that... Make sure the sink works, too. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have running water. Yeah. Please, running water. You need <laughs> all of these things, businesses. So that's my advice to you. Take the heart, Yeah. keep it deep inside you forever, and fulfill my God list here i got a toilet wish list now also got rules for other people using the bathroom all of you i know you beauties y'all aren't doing these but if you got a friend that's guilty of this i need you to talk to him yeah be an accountability partner to your friend yeah bathroom accountability partner if, if, if a bap yeah bathroom accountability partner you know, it's worse than drugs well what he's about to say are worse than drugs <laughs> Rule number one, no drugs. No, that's not rule number one. Rule number one, no eating. Yeah. Okay. You, why, okay, why are you eating in the bathroom in the first place? I don't want to hear you smacking while I'm trying to drain the deep hole. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to hear that. I, and worse yet, if you and your friend are in opposing stalls and y'all are working together, like making a ham sandwich and you're passing mayonnaise back and forth underneath or mustard. Yeah. That's whack, man. Don't do that. Because if you don't pass underneath, you know, you, if you, you pass underneath, throw over then. Yeah. You pass underneath, you're interfering with the person in the middle. And if you yeah. pass overhead, you might, you know, might not miss, you know, might miss that throw and just. Yeah, that got mayonnaise. All, that got mayo all over me. It looks like I just yeah. on my face in the bathroom. And then people think I got another problem. Yeah. Not on the list. But now that I thought about it, and no, no jerking it in the bathroom. No. In a public room. No. Don't, it is not a place to J.O. If you want to J.O., you go up to the overlook, you sit on the bench, and you meet your buddy. <laughs> rule number two. Said, well, we're going to say this is rule number three now because I just added in rule number two yeah. and no J-O. Yeah. Rule number three, leave space. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you come up to a wall of urinals and there's like five urinals, say, and one dude's dead center, don't take the urinal right next to him. Yeah. Leave a urinal space. I mean, obviously, if it's packed out, it's a busy bathroom, you got to do what you got to do. But people, we just want to go in, do our business, and get out. Okay? I don't want to have a conversation with you. Yeah. I don't want you coming in telling me about your fucking kids, how they died when your truck caught on fire or whatever. Yeah. And no, and I'm also big on just no conversation in the bathroom. Yeah. The only exception is like maybe a quiet little, you know, few exchanged words at the sink. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, no, just don't talk in the bathroom. Yeah, don't do it. A, this is a place. It's a At safe least not in the place. bathroom. Sanctuary. This is a sanctuary. It's like, it's like what did what what the, the, the fortress of solitude? I was trying yeah. to think of Superman's place. <laughs> it's like Superman's fortress of solitude. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but it smells like uh, like sh <laughs> and lavender, <laughs> basically. <laughs> if, if, if the fortress of solitude smelled like sh lavender that's that's where you're at yep that's it I, I i don't i forgot what number i'm on yeah so we're just gonna say this is number five yeah that'll work uh 19 i'm going with 19 
You know, we know we, we kind of covered this one though just then, so we're gonna leave, put leave space and no talking as one because yeah. no talking was my next rule. Yeah. And again, you know, not interested. You know, oh, it's your fucking quinceanera this weekend. Why are you telling me that in the toilet? Yeah. Uh, rule number s- s- twelve: Don't overuse the TP. Mm-hmm. Okay, leave some of us with the rest of. It. I don't know what you have going on with your bowel movements. That you need a half a roll, but you don't need a half a roll, especially when there's only a half a roll in there because it's not a well-stocked bathroom. Yeah. Okay. And then you're putting all that shit in the toilet and they got them low flow toilets in public bathrooms. Now it's not going down. It's not. Yeah. And and sometimes I understand sometimes there's that situation where no matter how many little wads of toilet paper you go through, you, you, you're, you're not, you're not done. You got well, yeah. the, the, the Sharpie effect is what they call it because it's like the Sharpie's yep. up your butthole yep. and you're still wiping along that Sharpie. <laughs> um, but if the you do that, effect. at least multiple flushes. That way you don't stop up the toilet. Yeah, you got to multi-flush it because like I said, you know, if you you drop a half a, half a roll in the bowl, it's, it's not going anywhere. So the only other option is for you to take it with you. Okay. Yeah. So if you do that, don't put it in the bowl. Put it in your pocket, take it with you. And that goes directly contrary to my last rule, which is leave it in the bathroom. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with some of you. I don't know why you would want to fish your own feces out of the bowl and take it with you. Like, maybe it's the biggest one you ever dropped and you're particularly proud of it. Yeah. But leave it in the toilet. Don't take it. Don't don't smear it on the walls. Don't smear it on don't, the wall. Don't take it home in a jar. Don't throw it on the floor of a 7-Eleven. Don't throw it at your friends or family. Don't. Just no. Yeah. What goes in the bowl stays in the bowl. And if you're lucky, it goes down the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Sometimes you get that little that little silt remnants that comes back up <laughs> afterwards and then you got to flush again. But, you know, m- most of the time you get 90% down or more. Well, yeah. And I mean, you know, also, a little side note, if you want to be environmentally conscious, don't follow... If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, let it hang around. Yeah, not Just flush. Yeah, flush. in a public restroom especially. You want to do that at home? Do that at home. Yeah. I won't come to your nasty ass house because it will not be a safe toilet. <laughs> he, he will not be within seven minutes of it. <laughs> no, I will not. I will be far away. But, you know, you follow these rules, people and businesses, and I think we will be okay. Yeah. This is, it's really something, you know... We, we, we're let's be real. We're in a time now where we're dealing with a lot of social, economic strife, and uh, geopolitical concerns, the environment, all of this. If we can just be cool, yeah. like with the fuck bathrooms, fuck using the toilet, something we all fuck have to do. Yeah, I think that'll bring us together as a nation, and uh, I think it'll move space colonization ahead by at least a hundred years. Thanks for watching. A hundred years. Ah, uh, links, something, 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 uh, click something.